This is MSJ Chem. In this video, I'll be looking at calculating the mass defect. The mass of a nucleus is slightly less than the sum of the masses of the nucleons that make up the nucleus. Here we have a helium nucleus, which is composed of two protons and two neutrons. And here we have the mass of the nucleus. On the left, we have the nucleons that make up a helium nucleus. That's two protons and two neutrons. And here we have the mass of the four nucleons. If we compare the masses, we can see that the mass of the helium nucleus is slightly less than the mass of the four nucleons that make up the helium nucleus. This difference in mass is known as the mass defect. The mass defect is the difference between the mass of a nucleus and the sum of the masses of its nucleons. To calculate the mass defect, we subtract the mass of the nucleus from the total mass of the nucleons that make up the nucleus. Next, we'll calculate the mass defect of a helium nucleus. Here we have the masses in kilograms of a proton, neutron and electron. To calculate the mass of a helium-4 nucleus, we multiply the number of nucleons in the nucleus by the mass of one atomic mass unit, which is 1.66 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms which gives us a mass for a helium-4 nucleus of 6.64 times 10 to the negative 27 kilograms. A helium-4 nucleus contains two protons and two neutrons. To find the mass defect, we multiply the mass of a proton times two, and we add that to two times the mass of a neutron. We then subtract the mass of the helium-4 nucleus, which gives us a mass defect of 5.51 times 10 to the negative 29 kilograms. In our next example, we'll calculate the mass defect of a copper 63 nucleus. To calculate the mass of a copper 63 nucleus, we multiply the number of nucleons in the nucleus by the mass in kilograms of one nucleon. This gives us a mass of 1.0458 times 10 to the negative 25 kilograms. A copper 63 nucleus contains 29 protons and 34 neutrons. To calculate the mass defect, we multiply the mass of a proton by 29 and add that to 34 times the mass of a neutron. We then subtract the mass of the copper 63 nucleus to give us 9.78 times 10 to the negative 28 kilograms.